UK Driving Theory Test 10 Question 1. You are on the approach to a zebra crossing. The wheelchair user is waiting to cross the road. You need to Ask the person to wait. Slow down and encourage them to cross. Carry on driving. Be prepared to slow down and give them right of way. Answer Be prepared to slow down and give them right of way. Question 2. You are planning to turn to the right at a junction, but your view is compromised because of parked cars. You need to Beep the horn, and proceed if you don't get a response. Stop the car, get out and see if there are any oncoming hazards. Stop, but edge forward carefully so you can have a wider view of any hazards ahead. Pull out quickly, but be ready to apply the brakes. Answer Stop, but edge forward carefully so you can have a wider view of any hazards ahead. Question 3. Prior to traveling through a tunnel, you need to Take off your sunglasses. Activate the wipers on your windscreen. Turn off the radio. Put the sunroof back on. Answer Take off your sunglasses. Question 4. You are driving, and it is raining extremely heavily. Your stopping distance will probably be the same. Twice what it is in normal weather. Half what it is in normal weather. Ten times more what it is in normal weather. Answer. Twice what it is in normal weather. Question 5. You are driving down a motorway. Towards the left-hand side of the carriageway, what color are the reflective cat's eyes? Amber. Orange. White. Red. Answer. Red. Question 6. If you arrive at the scene of an accident, any injured parties need to be looked after. If it is safe to do so. You should Give the injured something to eat Keep them where they are Move them out of the vehicle Give the injured something to drink Answer Keep them where they are Question 7. When is it illegal for a horn to be sounded? In built-up areas in between the hours of 23.30 and 7 o'clock. In built-up areas at all times. In built-up areas in between the hours of 2200 hours and 6 o'clock. On any road in between the hours of 23.30 and 6 o'clock. Answer. In built-up areas in between the hours of 23.30 and 7 o'clock. Question 8. If a motorcyclist is unconscious following on from an accident, the main priority needs to be there. Bleeding wounds. Fractures. Breathing. Bruises. Answer. Breathing. Question 9. The main reason why it is more difficult to overtake lorries and other large vehicles compared to cars is because The brakes are not as effective as on a car. It takes longer to pass them. They may pull over onto the side of the road at short notice. They cannot drive as quickly up hills. Answer It takes longer to pass them. Question 10. What is the purpose of a S.O.R.N. certificate? Data held by all insurance companies. Data kept by the police on certain motorists. A declaration that you don't have a MO. A declaration that your car is off the road. Answer. 
A declaration that your car is off the road. Question 11. You indicate to turn left, but the new road is icy. As a result, the rear of the car begins to slide towards the right. At this point, you need to Use the steering wheel delicately, turning to the left. Use the steering wheel delicately, turning to the right. Apply maximum pressure to the brakes, and turn to the left. Apply maximum pressure to the brakes, and don't use the steering wheel. Answer. Use the steering wheel delicately, turning to the right. Question 12. Residential areas where the street is narrow may have a speed limit that is 10 miles per hour, 25 miles per hour, 35 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour. Answer. 20 miles per hour. Question 13. When are passing motorists and pedestrians most at risk when you are reversing into a side road? During the maneuver. After entering the side road that you have just reversed into. Before you begin reversing. Once you have finished. Answer. During the maneuver. Question 14. What is the minimum distance it would take a car traveling at 60 miles per hour to come to a stop? 58 meters, 190 feet. 73 meters, 240 feet. 53 meters, 174 feet. 96 meters, 315 feet. Answer. 73 meters. 240 feet. Question 15. When driving on roads with icy surfaces, which of the following measures will decrease the chances of your wheels spinning uncontrollably? Applying the handbrake if you are losing control. Traveling slowly and with care, in the highest gear you can. Braking with minimal pressure several times. Traveling in the lowest gear possible throughout your journey. Answer. Traveling slowly and with care, in the highest gear you can. Question 16. You are behind a cyclist who is indicating that he is turning right at the end of the road in a few meters. You need to. Slow down, allowing the cyclist to complete their turn. Overtake the rider on the left, as he is turning right anyway. Overtake the rider before he reaches the junction. Flash lights and beat the horn at the cyclist. Answer. Slow down, allowing the cyclist to complete their turn. Question 17. You are in the process of replacing engine oil. How should oil that is no longer in use be disposed of? By being delivered to a local authority's designated site. In the bin. Emptied into a hole that's in the ground. Down the drain. Answer. By being delivered to a local authority's designated site. Question 18. Towards the left-hand side of the road, you see a bus lane. There is no signage to indicate the times when it is in use. This means... The bus lane has been discontinued and is open to all traffic. The bus lane is in use 24-7. The bus lane is only used during peak hours for traffic. The bus lane is only used when it is light. Answer. The bus lane is in use 24-7. Question 19. If you are carrying items on a roof rack, you should. Hide them with a plastic sheet. Pull over on the hard shoulder every 15 minutes to check their position. Ensure it is securely fastened at all times. Place all of the items towards the back of the rack. 
Answer. Ensure it is securely fastened at all times. Question 20. As you brake, your car is pulling to one side. At this point, you need to Press down harder on the brakes. Visit your local mechanic as quickly as you can. Apply the hand brake simultaneously. Swap your tires. Answer. Visit your local mechanic as quickly as you can. Question 21. If another road user flashes their lights at you, this means that they are giving you right of way. They want to alert you that there is a fault with your car. There could be a speed camera ahead. They need to warn you of where they are. Answer. They need to warn you of where they are. Question 22. You are waiting for a passenger to join you in the car, but you are five minutes early. In the meantime, you should. Turn off the radio. Make sure your headlights are on so your friend can see you. Activate your steering wheel lock. Turn off your engine. Answer. Turn off your engine. Question 23. While traveling on a road with a lot of traffic, you realize you are lost. You should. Pull over in a safe place on a side road so you can consult a map. Consult a map while you are driving, as you are stopping and starting with the traffic anyway. Wind down your window and shout at drivers nearby to request directions. Request directions from pedestrians when you come to a stop at traffic lights. Answer. Pull over in a safe place on a side road so you can consult a map. Question 24. The bright lights of the vehicle behind are dazzling you. You need to. Dazzle the vehicle behind you in retaliation. Brake firmly. Set your mirror to its anti-dazzle position. Flicker your rear lights in warning. Answer. Set your mirror to its anti-dazzle position. Question 25. When red and amber are showing on traffic lights, this indicates that the traffic lights are currently faulty. That the next light change will be to red only. That you can proceed if there are no obstructions immediately ahead of you. That you need to wait for the light to change to green before you continue. Answer. That you need to wait for the light to change to green before you continue. Question 26. If you have been convicted of driving under the influence of alcohol, what will begin to cost more? Your mo. Your driving license. The cost of your insurance. Your road tax. Answer. The cost of your insurance. Question 27. When you see a red stop sign, you need to Only stop if children are preparing to cross the road. Stop only if the sign is accompanied by a red traffic light. Only stop if there is traffic approaching. Stop in all circumstances, even when there is no traffic in sight. Answer Stop in all circumstances, even when there is no traffic in sight. Question 28. You are behind a lorry in traffic. Why should you stay a considerable distance behind this large vehicle? It ensures that the lorry driver can see you at all times in his mirrors. It will be easier and quicker to turn corners. It will reduce the effect that windy weather has on your vehicle. It makes it easier for the lorry driver to come to a stop. Answer. It ensures that the lorry driver can see you at all times in his mirrors. 
Question 29. Which of the following road users can use a toucan crossing along with pedestrians? Motorbikes. Trams. Buses. Cyclists. Answer. Cyclists. Question 30. Who has right of way when traffic lights are faulty? Traffic to the right. Traffic to the left. Nobody. Traffic straight on. Answer. Nobody. Question 31. When is it best for the pressure of your tires to be checked? Once tires are warm. After you have been traveling at a fast speed. Once tires are cold. Following on from a long drive. Answer. Once tires are cold. Question 32. You have been on a course of medication for several days, and one of the side effects is drowsiness. Although you feel better today, you still need to take the medication. Only drive if. Your journey is essential. If you have checked with your GP first. You are traveling at night and there is no traffic on the road. If there is a passenger accompanying you. Answer. If you have checked with your GP first. Question 33. A red circular sign provides height in meters and feet. This is intended for types of vehicles that are Long High Wide Heavy Answer High Question 34. You're driving on a motorway, and the traffic is particularly busy. The driver directly behind your car is closer than the recommended time gap. What is the best way to reduce the chance of an accident? Activate your hazards to warn the driver behind. Slam on the brakes hard if you need to. Separate the gap between you and the vehicle that's in front of you. Indicate, and swerve onto the hard shoulder to get out of the motorist's way. Answer. Separate the gap between you and the vehicle that's in front of you. Question 35. What is the purpose of a circular sign with a background that is completely blue? To provide a warning. To help you find a car park. To provide guidance on joining the motorway. To provide a positive instruction. Answer. To provide a positive instruction. Question 36. Why should the head restraint of the driver's seat be appropriately adjusted before the start of a journey? It's relaxing and makes for a smoother ride. It prevents fidgeting because your driving position is too uncomfortable. It prevents damaging injuries to your neck and back in the event of an accident. It's comfortable. Answer. It prevents damaging injuries to your neck and back in the event of an accident. Question 37. A cover note is provided by insurers in some situations and is. A driving license. A temporary insurance certificate. A certificate of your MO results. Details about the value of your car. Answer. A temporary insurance certificate. Question 38. The pavement on the left-hand side of the road is closed for maintenance. You need to. Stay as close to the pavement's edge as you can. Be alert, as there may be pedestrians walking on the road. Accelerate so you pass the roadworks faster. Check the mirror on your right hand side more frequently. Answer. Be alert, as there may be pedestrians walking on the road. 
Question 39. When are you allowed to reverse from a quiet side road into the main road? If both roads are quiet and completely free of oncoming traffic. Under no circumstances. If the main road has no oncoming traffic. Whenever you need to. Answer. Under no circumstances. Question 40. While traveling on a motorway, the vehicle in front of you has its hazard lights indicated. This means... Police ahead are performing routine checks. Traffic is slowing down or coming to a stop. You should overtake the driver. They are planning to change lanes. Answer. Traffic is slowing down or coming to a stop. Question 41. Which road crossing has been designed for both cyclists and walkers? Parfin. Belican. Toucan. Zebra. Answer. Toucan. Question 42. Which of the following factors will not affect the distance it takes for you to stop? What time of the day it is. Your speed. The quality of your tires. Weather conditions. Answer. What time of the day it is. Question 43. You are overtaking a stationary bus. Why should you proceed with caution? There is oncoming traffic further down the road. The driver may open their door. Bicycles are parked on the pavement nearby. Pedestrians may attempt to cross in front of the bus. Answer. Pedestrians may attempt to cross in front of the bus. Question 44. A toddler has been in a car accident, and they are not breathing. You need to give CPR, and breathe into their mouth. Quickly. Heavily. With full strength. Gently. Answer. Gently. Question 45. While nearing a mini roundabout, you are keeping your eye on the lorry ahead. Although they are indicating to the left, they are positioned on the right-hand side of the lane. You need to Follow the lorry's direction. Keep your distance. Beep the horn to alert the lorry driver of your presence. Surpass the lorry on the left-hand side. Answer Keep your distance. Question 46. A journey is essential, but the weather is foggy and visibility is exceptionally poor. You need to Anticipate that it will take longer for you to reach your destination. Maintain your usual time gap between vehicles. Refrain from activating dipped headlights. Reduce the distance between your vehicle and the one ahead. Answer Anticipate that it will take longer for you to reach your destination. Question 47. What should you do as soon as you have joined a three-lane motorway? Overtake other motorway users as soon as possible. Adjust your mirrors. Move to the middle lane. Stay in the left-hand lane until you are traveling faster. Answer. Stay in the left-hand lane until you are traveling faster. Question 48. What does third-party insurance cover? Your medical costs. Damage and injury for all parties. Any damage you cause to other vehicles. If you damage your car. Answer. Any damage you cause to other vehicles. Question 49. Which of the following factors will increase your stopping distance the most? 
Driving in gale force winds. Driving when it's dark. Driving when visibility is poor because of fog. Driving while it's raining. Answer. Driving while it's raining. Question 50. Icy roads, or surfaces with fresh snow, mean that it could take your car far longer to come to a halt than it normally does. In these conditions, stopping distances could be five times what they normally are, twice what they normally are, triple what they normally are, ten times what they normally are. Answer. Ten times what they normally are. Thank you for watching this video and wish you will get your driver license soon.